Arseny Yatsenyuk is leader of the All-Ukrainian Union Fatherland. He's joining us on the phone from uh, Kiev. Thanks very much indeed uh, for, for, for joining us. Um, Ukraine is in an interesting position at the moment because people both want to have ties with Russia and Europe. How do we heal, how do we heal those two points of view? Yeah, pleasure to hear you. You know, the majority of Ukrainians support EU integration. Uh, the last polls showed that more than 60% of Ukrainians want for the Ukrainian government to sign an association agreement and deep into comprehensive free trade area with the European Union. On the other hand, it's true that we have a very big neighbor. Sometimes this neighbor uh, acts like a bear, which is Russia. And uh, it's quite complicated to be between very big two unions. The first one is the European Union, and, the, and another one is a new, I don't want to name it as a Soviet Union, but it resembles the Soviet Union, which is called the Customs Union. But what's for sure, what's very important for my country, and uh, the only way we can move forward is to sign an association agreement to implement real reforms in my country, to reform judiciary, to attract investors, to tackle the rampant corruption, and to be a part of big European world. On the other hand, Russia, Russia is very, I would say, this is a very solid and um, quite influential player, not only in our region, but in the world. And the Russian play is very clear. This is more geopolitical ra one rather than economic one. And Russia provided to Ukraine a short-term loan, which is more, sounds like a temporary relief rather than a uh, real uh, financial support for real reforms. And my feeling is that after President Yanukovych signed a deal with Russia on the 15 billion bucks loan and on the that, discount that, of gas... That yeah, temporary relief, though, came with no policy preconditions. Unlike IMF or EU loans, they all come with preconditions that maybe Ukraine doesn't want to meet at the moment or cannot meet. Uh, well, please, let's split Ukraine and the Ukrainian government. So Ukraine wants to join the European Union. The, European, the Ukrainian government and the incumbent president wants to get the second term in the office. And that's the reason why they decided to have an intransparent deal with Russia. Because, you know, we always say that the only place you can get the free cheese in, is the mousetrap. And Russia provided this free cheese. And it's crystal clear that there are some kind of concealed conditions between Ukrainian and Russian president. Uh, despite the IMF, which uh, provides the loan on a very transparent why, basis. Why is that quite uh, clear? Why is that quite clear if we don't know what they are? You know, because you can get $15 billion uh, for nothing. You can find any place in the world where you can get $15 billion on the one hand and 40% discount for three the billion, isn't it? on the, the other the, hand. The 15 billion hasn't been drawn down. It's 3 billion to begin with. But the, but the overall deal is for 15 billion bucks. And it's agreed, and not only just agreed, but announced by the President Putin and President Yanukovych. And it's in the, in the draft bill on the state budget of 2014. How do you, you so, talked about uh, you need to get investment into the country. How do you attract investment whilst there are still protesters in the square? Oh, it's quite a different thing. Protesters, uh, what we've done, we've showed to the entire world that Ukraine has a real pro-Ukrainian opposition and pro-Ukrainian rallies, which are very peaceful with no violence, except the violence that uh, had been done by the Ukrainian riot police. Uh, we had a number of crackdowns on our peaceful rally. So this is the pro-European peaceful, peaceful rally and anti-governmental. The key obstacle on the road to the investment to Ukraine is a rampant corruption, corrupted and frankly speaking stupid government. This is the key problem. And that's the reason why we need to join, not to join, but to sign an association agreement as the association agreement is the best recipe how to make real reforms in my country.